Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I am Daniel Goodwin, and over there is John Lewandowski. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Congratulations to the Nashville Predators on yesterday beating the Chicago Blackhawks in a shootout where they top line for the Nashville Predators, consuming, uh, consisting of Gustav Nyquist, Phil Forsberg, and Ryan O'Reilly all scored in the shootout, where Connor Bedard is the only thing that made headlines out of that because he scored his first NHL shootout goal. So that is why I did not go on camera because I was just going to be rude. Now I'm being rude. Because I called my shot. And I was right. So, lo and behold, enough of that. We're caught up. How you doing, John? Doing all right. I am. Just so all of you are aware, we both had a very nasty congestive cold. John still uh, does have somewhat of a cough. Um, I do, too. Um, I, I lost my voice yelling at the refs today. Um, if you know, you know. Um, Goku is not happy. Uh, I have to go ultra instinct on the cowbell, but I can't afford to keep replacing them. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, um, today the Milwaukee Admirals took on the San Diego Gulls, and for that, I will turn stats over to John. All right, shots on goal in the first period. Milwaukee outshoots San Diego 14 to 10. In the second period, Milwaukee outshoots San Diego 11 to 7. In the third period, both teams had nine shots. In total, Milwaukee outshoots San Diego 34 to 26. On the power play, San Diego goes two for six with 16 minutes, eight infractions, while Milwaukee goes one for six with 16 minutes, eight infractions. <clears throat> Scoring in the first period at the 546 mark for the goals was Andrew Agazino. Scoring his fourth, assisted by Drew Hellison, his fourth, and Josh Lapina, his fourth. But at the 7.59 mark, the goal score again with a goal from Olin Zellweger, his fourth. That was on the power play, assisted by Andrew Agazino, his 12th, and Chase DeLeo, his fourth. Then at the 19.18 mark, the goals get on the board again with a goal from Glenn Gaudin, his fifth of the year, assisted by Drew Hellison, his fifth, and Trevor Carrick, his 14th. Then in the second period at the 842 mark, uh Ben King scores his seventh. Uh that was on the power play, uh, with an assist from Owen Zellweger, his uh twelfth, and, and yeah. you know, his thirteenth. Um, I noticed that King had uh, normally wears the number fourteen, but couldn't wear it in our building as the wave have it retired. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um then in the third period at the 12.08 mark, uh, Dennis Giriano gets the Admirals on the board on the power play with his sixth of the season with an assist from Zachary LaRue, his seventh, and Mark Del Gaizo, his seventh. Um, then Adam Willsby scores his second with an assist from Joachim Kebel, his fifth, and Giriano, his 11th. That is at the 15.02 mark. Um, then Nikita Nestor Nestorinko scores an empty net with his fourth with an assist from Glenn Gordon. Um, it really did look like they were all going after LaRue. It really did. Like, from the get-go, LaRue seemed to be the target. I don't know how many times I watched that kid get just pummeled. Yeah. Um, if anything, I could see him by beefing up next year and just going, screw all of you. Yeah. Now let's get into the goalies. Not exactly thrilled on this part, but Yaroslav Askarov gets the start for the Admirals, stopping 10 of 14 with 28 minutes, 42 seconds of work, giving up four goals. They played really bad in front of him. So uh, first goal was a two-on-one. Second goal was on the power play. Third goal, they just got beat. Fourth goal was power play. 
Fifth goal was empty net. How are you going to blame that guy? All right. He's not supposed to. Here's the thing. If you're not going to play defense in front of him, he's not going to stop it. There are more options. They had the better chances. And we got to score. Yeah. Um, I completely agree with Carl Taylor's post-game conference. Um, go watch that on the Milwaukee Admirals YouTube. Uh, it's definitely worth watching. Yes, it is clean. Um, so, uh, Carl, very the consummate pro, a very good coach. Um, just got bounced back and beat Iowa to, uh, on, on, what is that, uh, Friday? Uh, yes, Iowa on Friday. Oh, you guys are seeing us for five days in a row. Hi. <laughs> yeah. I told you we didn't have a day off till Monday. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Uh, well, we will see you tomorrow with the Preds of the Lightning and Bridgestone. Um, we will also be back with more news coming forward. Um, we will be doing a little bit more this weekend. I know in the system's got to get done. I know NHL news has got to get done. No, we are not talking about Corey Perry. Hmm. Just off the jump, we're not talking about Corey Perry. We're not talking about Bedard's mom rumor thingy. We're not going to talk about that stuff. So for those of you that may check into our news to see if we talk about it, I'm going to give you the heads up ahead of time. As funny as it is to me privately, <laughs> um, that, you know, this happened and having a good sense of humor to be able to accept it because it is horrible. Yeah, but it, you have to take it for what it also is: is people being a troll and 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 being rude. Um, I do feel for Bedard's mom, and that's all I'm going to say on the subject. Um, I don't feel for Bedard. Bedard's a superstar; he should learn how to handle this stuff. He's going to have way worse coming his way. And I'm not saying that because of like him this play or anything like that. So we have that. Um, uh, we have in the system we have to do. I got to definitely make sure we have our vocals for that one. Saturday's show is tentative on me having vocals. So Saturday, I'm stepping back into the world of the uh, Arena Soccer League and uh, going and cheering on my Milwaukee Wave. Uh, John's coming with me. <laughs> I got to get John out of the house. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, sick for almost a month. Yeah, I know. Uh, being sick for almost a month for both of us has not been fun. I had a cold, then I beat it, then I caught another cold, then I beat it, now I beat yeah. it. Up. So, um, by the way, for those of you, you got anything you want to do outside before the snow slash rain or whatever the heck we're getting this weekend, tomorrow, 50 degrees. Get them gutters clean. Get that yard nice and cleaned up. Mm -hmm. Get that fresh snow and put them things right on top of the snow. Put all your little decorations out there. Um, but um, uh, also, if I remember correctly, Carl Taylor, and I quote, I did not I do not think they took the game away from us. We just didn't find a way to score the and let the game get away from us. Yeah. I agree with that. Gross played horrible. Delgazo played horrible. Um and, and I'm talking about all game. Uh. Yurianov had a good game. Uh Carson Kasevich had a good game. Uh, he was very physical. Uh, at one point he did almost get a hit to the head. But uh, he he did back off and and it hit him in the shoulder. So, um, 
just some of those little things that I saw. Um, Grossnick looked good. Um, so, yeah, that's about all I got for you. Uh, thank you all for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. We'll be, but like I said, we will be back tomorrow with the Tampa Bay Lightning and Nashville Predators in Bridgestone Arena. Um, we will also probably do in the system tomorrow. As um, I said, with everything, we have a triple on Saturday with the Admirals, Predators, and Atlanta. I do not want to double that up upon us going to another sporting event. All right. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do that either um, tomorrow or Friday or Sunday. One of the days in the next four days. One of the days it's gonna get done. News in the next four days. One of the days it's gonna get done. Any trade news? You'll see me on the Facebook page live. It will be on our. I will jump in right away with all the details as soon as I have them. Um. I am also trying to give John as much of a breather at times. So if I seem like I'm over talking more than normal, hmm. uh, I don't want John going into a full blown like breathing. Uh, you know, John. No, I did a breathing treatment beforehand, man. <laughs> yeah, but you get where I'm going. Like I don't want you to have to have one mid show. <laughs> right. Like I left my inhaler on the fucking uh, thing right there. Mm -hmm. It's like sitting right in front of me. I should probably take it once we're done, but <clears throat> yeah, um, as I wanted to say, you know, not our night. You just gotta bury this one. Yeah. Take that last ten minutes of that game and build off that. I I, I honestly think after that five on three kill the momentum went in the Admiral's favor. Yeah. They got two goals, and then the empty net happened, which killed it. So that's that's that on that. Um, uh, yeah, Tomas Studenik. Studenik. Uh, he was the winning goalie for the Gulls. Um, if I remember correctly, the three stars of the game were... I don't have the stats anymore, John. Give me just a second. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Third star of the game, Denis Kirianov with a goal and an assist. I'm waiting for it to load. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Kirianov with a goal and an assist was third. Uh, second was Andrew Agazino with a goal and two assists. And first was Olin Zellweger with a goal and an assist. Which I believe his goal was the game-winning goal as well, so that's probably why he got the number one. His goal would be San Diego's third? Second of the game. Second of the game? Okay. Yeah. Did I'm he kinda assist confused. on the third one? He assisted on the fourth one. Okay. So he assisted on the go-ahead. Or the um, the extension. Yeah. All righty. Well, Thank you all for watching our discombobulated show. We will get back in the swing of things. Um, understand we haven't done a show in almost a week. And before that, it was a week before that. Right. Because we were pretty brutal. It was pretty brutal. None of us could breathe. So us being here a week after me, literally in urgent care, John in ER, and mm -hmm. it was, we're, we're here within a week. So we're, we're some tough hombres, that's for sure. <laughs> As far as coming for this, um, uh, we thank you all and see you tomorrow.